The Last of Us, episode two. This show is great. The show is great. I didn't play the game, and I but I've seen people, of course, compare the game, like shots from from the from the series to the game, and they're totally matching it. They ha- obviously have the creators of the game that are working within the story. This 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 show is freaking me out a little bit because I'm not going to give any spoilers just in case you haven't seen it yet. But my God, we've had op- the, the opening of episode one obviously talked about how there could be a fungi that could just F us all up. And then this one is also a pre pandemic scene that has to do with this woman that is very familiar with all this kind of stuff. And man, there is a. The scene, the scene where she's on the couch and they give her some tea and she's asking questions. It's one take and it's just slowly moving in as she's like kind of losing her shit internally. If you notice, it's insane. Like it's such a good scene. And she is like going, she's basically going, yeah, we're all, we're all effed. We're effed. And then of course, you know, obviously things happen in this. Uh, We got, you know, the character of Tess. I'm not going to, you know, again, I'm not going to say certain things, but, uh, you know, you kind of, it was kind of funny because not knowing the source material, the character of Tess, I was kind of going like, man, she just looks like she has a migraine 24 seven. She just looks like she's just in pain and just disgruntled the whole time. And you kind of find out why. And man, it was just, that was, you know, that whole thing was like, whoa, that interesting and then of course a lot of people were talking about how the 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 this virus or you know spreads and the change from the video game to live action and a lot of people are praising the change because you know obviously uh obviously you know when it comes to a fungi or whatever the hell there could be spores that just shoot it out into the air which is really freaky but in this in 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 the live action version they're kind of doing like this whole thing where like um the fungi if it's attached to, of course, um, certain things, certain buildings, and you touch it, it can like send a signal from like a mile away to get the the clicker, the clicker people, obviously the zombie type people that are all effed up, you know, on the fungi and everything like that. It like communicates. That's pretty freaky. I do like that, and it's just like, oof, it's just creepy. And like I said, I mean, the dynamic between the characters, obviously, you know, you got Pascal, and I. Can't remember the name, you know, of who plays Ellie. They have a great dynamic. She's like, you know, obviously a firecracker. He's very, you know, straight laced and everything. And I'm just really just liking that dynamic and everything. So, yeah, I'm just, again, I'm really enjoying this series. I think, uh, yeah, I think HBO Max, you got a hit. (laughs) You got a hit. Hopefully it's helping with subscribers. I know it's like they released numbers when it talked about that whole thing. Like it got, it got another million viewers or something like that from last week. I guess that's a good thing. Hopefully that can just be like, Hey, can the streaming services finally figure out exactly how to do this whole thing? Is it, is it making an impact when it comes to HBO max? Hopefully it is. I don't know. 